Hey, hi, hello guys. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be talking about what I'm using now in my daily life. I did make a video on newborn products and I'll put a link to that in the description, but these are products that I'm using now. So maybe they're a little bit geared toward um, babies that are probably like over three months or something like that, I don't know, slash moms of any age. So first things first, I wanna say a big thank you to Third Love for sponsoring this video. They reached out to me. So they have two brand new nursing bras out right now and I cannot tell you guys, like I was so excited to try this out. Sponsored or not, I wanted to try these so bad because they are so, so cute. My old nursing bra. It gets the job done, but it is the most mom looking bra that I have ever owned. And this is my brand new nursing bra from Third Love. Pretty big difference. So I want to tell you guys a little bit more about it. So if you follow me on Twitter, then you will have seen already that I was so excited to try this bra out and I'd like to happily report back to you guys that I love it. So to start off, I wouldn't consider myself a like bra enthusiast, but this is so pretty. Like this pale pink is probably one of my favorite colors right now. And it is so soft. Besides the pale pink being my favorite color, I think that the accents of the like clasps and all the metal on it complement it really well. And it has these really cute pleated straps. So if you've watched any of my other videos talking about recovering from labor, you know that your body obviously goes through a lot of changes and, and breastfeeding. That can change things a lot, if you know what I mean. One of the things that I was struggling with is that none of my bras fit me and all the nursing bras that I had were either only like small, medium, or large options. So the really cool thing that I liked about Third Love is that you can go online and you go take their Fit Finder quiz and it walks you through all these steps and it gives you the several different, I think there's nine different body type options. What's really cool about that test is that it can help you find the bra that fits your body perfectly, whatever body type that may be. So Third Love actually has half cup sizes, which I have never seen anywhere else and I've never seen that in a nursing bra. If you're kind of between like being a B and a C, you can actually get a B and a Half, which I think is so cool because like I'm really awkward and that's exactly what I needed So now I'm not either drowning in one bra or overflowing in another So I've been breastfeeding for over six months now and I've had several different nursing bras But I can confidently say that this is the best one that I've had one of my favorite things is that it closes in the front So I don't have to spend like 15 minutes doing the awkward like back clasping because honestly guys my arms are way too tired to do that I get exhausted after like 30 seconds another thing to note about third love is that they believe that fit comes first if you're talking with them and taking their Fit Finder tests online, I really did find that to be true. Like I said, they have two brand new nursing bras available. One of those is a 24-7 classic nursing bra and one of those is a 24-7 wireless nursing bra. I personally went with the classic because that is the fit that it told me would be best for me and that is what I prefer. Both are made from the same soft material, it never irritates your skin, and the fit is still gonna be great either way. And Beanie wanted to be in the video. Um, if you guys wanna try one of these Third Love nursing bras, they are giving you guys 15% off with this code. I will be sure to put that link in all the links below if you'd like to try that. And moving along to our next product, so this is a product that we got this week. It's called, I think the Fisher Price Stack something, I'm not sure. It basically is donuts. As I said, Emerson just turned six months old, so she has been sitting up and she's been working on that all the time. So I was looking for a toy that would be good for her to play as she's sitting up. And I found that this is one of the best ones because it's, I found that this is one of the best ones because it kind of sits right at her level. She can take these off. She loves to chew on them. Let's go to an example. at Target. She has so much fun with it. They're easy to clean. So I love this. I'm gonna put Emerson right next to me in her jumper. That's better because I need all my hands for this demonstration. All right, next we have the Binksy Baby. It is a cart sling slash hammock thing that was sent to us and I'm not gonna lie, I love it. It does kind of seem like one of those things where like, would I actually use that? It is actually super sturdy and really easy to use. What I love about it is that you can put your baby in your cart with you. You don't have to put their giant car seat into your cart and you still have all of the space that you would need to put whatever you're buying in the cart. to 
make friends at Target. I think it's so funny because literally every time that I use this at the store, someone stops me and either wants to see Emerson or wants to know what this is. And every time that I post a picture of it on Instagram, somebody asks about it. So this is what that is. I do very much recommend it. Going along with that, the next thing I wanna talk about is our click in stroller thingy. So I've used this in like almost every vlog and I use it if I'm planning on not buying like a ton of things and I don't need the whole cart. So it is a stroller, but it's super lightweight. It folds up very easily. It fits right in the trunk of my car. It goes along with the car seat that we have. So yeah, I would recommend. All right, so I get a lot of questions about my opinion on the Dakotot. We have the Grand Dakotot, which is for like nine months plus, but Emerson is the size of a nine month old. Oof. Emerson was one of those tricky babies and she would not lie flat on her back when we got her home from the hospital. And I remember crying in the shower one night, just wishing we could buy the Dakotot because I wanted to try it so bad, just because I'd heard so many things about it. We ended up using the Rock and Play with her until we were very fortunate enough to be sent the Dakotot to try out. So thank you, Dakotot. I think every baby is different and every baby is gonna like products that one baby doesn't. So at the time, I definitely couldn't justify spending that much money, but for us, it has definitely turned out to be the real deal. It is the only way that we could get Emerson to transition into sleeping on her back. So now she sleeps in it every night. For some reason, she does this thing where she has to press her face up against the side of something to fall asleep. So the Dakotot has been great for that because the material you can put up next to your, their face and you can breathe through it. That's one of the big, that's one of their big things is that the material is breathable. So it makes me a lot more comfortable with her doing that. So this next thing is not necessarily a product, but it's a book and I think it is so cute. So I thought it was worth talking about. It is called The Day the Crayons Quit. Our friend Leslie gave this to us before Emerson was born, so thank you, Leslie. I can confidently say that this is one of the most adorable books that she owns. So what each page is, is a letter from a specific color crayon writing to the kid, the owner of a crayon box, telling why they quit or what frustrations they're having. It's super cute for kids. All the illustrations are really cool. So Emerson loves to look at that, but it's also kind of entertaining as an adult because I get a good laugh out of it. I'll read you an expert. I'll, I will read you a bit. So this is from the Black Crayon. Hi Duncan, I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors. All of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill me in with all the other colors. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Yeah, super cute. So this baby product is something that I literally have in every single vlog just because it's Emerson's favorite. It's like a rattle and a teether and a toy all in one. It is her favorite, so we use it all the time. I give it to her in the car to play with or I'll, if I put her in her Binksy baby, I'll give this toy to her to keep her entertained when we're going through the store. It came in a pack of like five different products. This was also in there and the other ones are kind of scattered throughout the house. But it was a good price. I think it was like $24 for like five toys. The last thing to show is not something very uncommon. There's probably like so many of these out there, but it's what we're using right now a lot. And these are these munchkin spoons. We use them all the time right now because Emerson is starting to eat solid foods. The cool thing about these ones is that the tip of them will turn white if something is too hot. I like them. That's really all there is to say about that. That's all I have to say about that. So those are just the products that we use probably every single day right now. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment about those below. If you have any suggestions for really cool things to try out, leave a comment about those below or just leave a comment about, you know, how your day is going and I will try to reply to you. I'd like to thank my lovely assistant, Emerson. If you guys are new, be sure to hit subscribe. Go check out the other mommy videos and family vlogs that I put on this, she looks like, she looks like a pineapple. That is awesome. Hopefully this helps you out somehow, if not, you got to see Emerson as a pineapple. Say thank you guys again for watching. We love you and I'll see you when I see you. Bye. I feel like someone can make a really cute version of this toy so that it looks like a stack of donuts. Like decorate these like donuts. I'm taking that idea and I'm patenting it and I'm going on Shark Tank. So don't even try to steal my idea.